Good morning or good afternoon or good evening everyone. Welcome back to the G Thoughts channel. Good afternoon my time family. I am sorry for the long delay. You know life happens and we're gonna get you some videos back to back in these upcoming weeks. So today what I'm gonna do for you is bring you a charcuterie board. Now I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly but in English terms, it is a cheese board. It is that time of year where it's springtime. And we're gonna also start doing graduations. We're gonna do bridal showers. We're gonna do wedding receptions. So I figured I will give my rendition of a cheese board. And it's all, nothing but an appetizer board that you would serve your guests right before your dinner or your brunch. Or you can have this during brunch. So I'm just going to give you a little list of ingredients of what I'm going to use today. And if you could, because I'm not going to save this to the end, could hit subscribe and like this video so I can continue to keep bringing this stuff out to you, it will definitely help me, okay? So let's get to it, family. So what we're going to start with today is a few items. I'm going to use some hickory smoked turkey. We got some Ritz crackers, okay? I love these pretzels. If you haven't tried them, get into them, okay? These are awesome. They're thin, they're lightweight, and they're lightly salted. My favorite type of nuts is gonna be pistachios. Okay, I'm gonna use three different types of hard salami. So we got your genovoni cheese, your pepperoni, and your hard salami. Okay, I do, I'm gonna put cheese on my board, and I'm gonna use cheese sticks, okay? And I'm just gonna slice them in squares, okay? We're gonna use pickles and we're gonna use the dill pickles and these are the miniature ones. I got some fruit, we're just gonna use some grapes. And if you haven't tried this, and it doesn't have to be this brand, this is awesome. It's a thick spread and you can put this on crackers with your cheeses and your dips. And also for another type of cheese, this is some smoke, like English cheese spread that you can also add on your crackers. And then basically that's it. You're just going to put on your board what you find appetizing and delicious to serve to your guests. It's light, it's refreshing, and it's not a lot of work. So all we're going to do is just prepare. And what you're going to see me do is just set up this lovely board. And I got this cheese board or this cutting board from Ikea, believe it or not. And you're just going to set and dip. So what we're going to do is just have fun and watch us create. Okay, family, we're back. So I'm going to show you in description of what I'm going to do. So I'm just taking the cheese sticks out of the wraps. I'm going to line them up, and I'm just going to line them up and cut them in chops. So this will give everyone an appetizer bite of a piece of cheese. And also what I did to add to my board, I'm going to add some celery. So the celery is going to give to me a crunch along with the saltiness with the cheese and the hard salami. And then you're going to have a little bit of you know, a kick in a bite with your pickles. So everybody gets a delectable light. So I've also added celery to the board and all I did was wash it, clean it, and slice it in half. So I hope you can see this with me cutting the celery. So everybody gets a dip. And what we're gonna just do today is we're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna decorate the board. So when people eyes goes to a charcuterie board, praying that I'm saying that right, they're going to be able to get a bite of a little delectable, something sweet, something salty, something breaded, something mm, different that you think you wouldn't expect. Just to appetize the taste buds. So when I'm doing these cheese boards, what I have in mind is memories and thoughts and everything in my life I begin with trying to create a memory. Um, memories to me are like photographs. I think people take their memories with them and what you expose yourself to either positive or negative it's have an everlasting effect so food is one of the ways that people through the beginning of time has always celebrate togetherness with and what I'm doing right now is just opening up the cheese and cutting the rest of the cheese on the board and then we're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna decorate it and we're just gonna let the board direct us on how we think it should go I don't have any rhyme or reason. You know, I'm not really that good on structure. 
I'm a kind of go with the flow kind of type person. I don't do anything planned, but we're going to get into it and we're going to get to decorating and then we're going to let you see what the finished product looks like. So let's have fun.
thank you for spending this time with me and I have finished my charcuterie board hashtag cheese board <laughs> so what you have seen here and just witnessed is that I just put some hard salami some pickles some nice fig spread a nice cheese spread I added some hummus I put garnish spring onions on the side so you can have with the hard salami we have some pistachios we have some pretzels we got a little apple for decoration and then we also have a little bit of red onions here we have some celery and some smoked hickory turkey and ladies and gentlemen let me do a slow-mo of my cheese board look at You can have all of this for under $35, okay? We're not trying to break nobody's pockets, but we all trying to eat good in the neighborhood, and we're trying to watch these figures, okay? Because COVID-19 then did a number on all of us. I'm pretty sure we got a little big pounds to be taken off. So, I got a little something for everyone, but I'm sorry for my vegan and vegetarian friends. It's not really appetizer friendly, but if you do have family members who do, indulgent cheese and a little bit of meat this would be a board for you but ladies and gentlemen this is my finished rendition of my cheese board thank you for spending time with me and if you could can you hit like share this video come back for some more G Thoughts originals and what we're going to be doing in my household today and I want to wish you a good evening a good afternoon or good morning where you may be and keep your head up Mom, what are you doing?